Alright, welcome to part 1 of a 5.3 episode series we're going to be doing on how to make a Star Wars RP or a Dark RP server. So this first episode is going to be focusing on getting the actual server, getting into the game panel, and then a very brief game panel tour. And the next episode will be focused on installing the actual game mode, map, etc. So, to start, obviously uh, I'm going to head over to Crichton.com, um, which I've already got open here. And I'm just going to scroll down to order a Gary's Mod server, and for this tutorial I'm going to order a 100% server this is more than enough for most people so I'm just gonna click on my test server enter my test server sorry leave everything else as it is for the sake of the tutorial um, I've got a discount here uh, that's just so I don't need to go through the PayPal checkout but otherwise everything will be the same so here I'm gonna sign up like anyone else would I'm obviously going to enter a fake number um, for this video, but you'd probably want to enter a real number there because that's one way that we'll be able to verify your identity if you ever get locked out of your account. And then I'm going to enter a password. This is normally where you'd get sent through to PayPal. Um, I'm obviously not going to be sent through to PayPal because I've got no total due. And then once you've finished PayPal, you'll land on this page, which is just while we deploy your server. And then when it's deployed, you'll get taken to your active services you can click on the active service here and then click on go to game panel i'm just going to log in with paypal here i mean log in with criden you'll need to just click this authorize button once and then once you're in you should be able to see your server here um, i'm just going to dismiss these notifications real quick so this server is installing real quick so what i'm going to quickly um, go through is some other pages on the panel so Obviously here um, is your icon um, and here are your notifications. Um, if you ever need to request a support access, this is how you do that. You click your icon up here, click the support button, and then here you can enable and disable support of access. Um, you have your security settings um, and the API stuff here. The API documentation link is right there. Um, this is just some basic account settings um, and then let me just check the server out now because that seems to be finished. Um, you'll have obviously like standard things like file management. Um, you'll have the data vault here, which is our backup system. Um, you'll have schedules. Uh, there's a more detailed video on the channel about scheduled tasks because they, they can get quite complicated. Um, this is your just general server overview. Uh, SFTP information, um, action logs. There'll be nothing here obviously yet. Um, and then probably the only thing that's worth mentioning as well is the advanced page here. It's where you can reinstall your server or switch over to the beta branch and stuff like that. Um, so in the next video, we're going to be installing Dark RP, um, a map, and then um, Dark RP modification. We're going to be going through some basic job stuff. And then in the third video, we're going to be actually renaming Dark RP to Star Wars RP. So skip the third video if you're not making a Star Wars RP server. And then on the fourth video, which is going to be split into three parts, um, that will be installing add-ons. And then in the fifth video, we're going to be talking about fast DL and workshop DL, which is how you can get players to download content when they join your server. So that should go through pretty much everything. Um, and there'll be links to the other videos in the description. So that's all for this video. And um, thanks for watching.